morning. You're watching News X. I'm Neha Khanna. A big focus all day today. That big final that's coming up later today at the Lords. The Indian women's cricket team is on the verge of creating history as they take on uh, England on their home turf today after downing the indomitable Aussies in the semi final of the World Cup. All of India is now expecting skipper Mitali Raj to lift the World Cup today for the first time ever. The final will be played, as we said, at the historic Lords in England. Hopes are high that the women in blue will bring home the World Cup. Should be none other than Smriti Mananda. What's your take on it? Smriti Mandana can actually hit those uh, uh, gaps and she can hit over the top uh, in the infield. So she's our crucial uh, Batter of the so day. So she has to give uh, uh, India a swift start in the beginning. But striker two is, uh, of course, Mithali Raj. Yes. She, she can actually pace the innings, she can rotate the strikes, and she can take off the pressure from the top order batters. So striker that's three. If we can see on screen, striker three, Harman Pit Kora, much will be dependent on her. Absolutely. With her uh, experience in the Big Bash League, she's really come of age. Nine years into the, into the game, she knows how to handle pressure and she's done it best. Well, only cricketer to play in the foreign leagues. Deepthi Sharma. Brilliant find of the tournament. She can bowl well, bat well, and at times she can do those half uh, chances into run outs. Well, striker of five, of course, is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, Shushma, Shushma Verma. This Himachal kid has, has come of age. She hits those long sixes. She knows when to uh, defend those tricky bowling. And she's your best bet in well, the long run. The last order. striker for India is, of course, none other than Julian Goswami. Absolutely. She can really hit big. And she knows when to choose the ball and then pace up her innings, especially in the last five overs. She can be the deciding factor. I started when I was nine and a half, ten year old. My dad wanted me to develop the habit of early riser. I'm a very lazy child. I'm still lazy. But that's precisely the reason why I used to accompany my brother early in the morning for the training sessions. I was quite curious as a young kid because it was an exclusive boy. Curious as a young kid because it was an exclusive boys camp so not too many girls would take up that sport. Fortunately for me I had a school team and that's how I started playing the league game in Hyderabad. Yet another 54, Mithari Raj, the captain of the Indian team. Whenever you bat with her, the opposition are just thinking about her so you get easy runs. So. Just watching her bat, the way she prepares for the game, it's a big uh, inspiration for all the youngsters in the team because she's done so well and consistently well for India. My dad made a decision to turn me into a professional cricketer. The hours of training sessions and the performance in the games and the way he made me realize how to introspect and perform at the best of my ability. These are the things started too early for me as 11 year old. At that phase when I started putting in so many hours of training, I really uh, realized that you know I have stopped enjoying the game and at some point I hated my dad for putting me into the sport. I really didn't get time to have school friends enjoying the family gatherings. All these things were out of bound for me. It was solely like a race horse. My dad made sure that I'm training hard day in and day out. Now that I am mature enough to understand that all those hard work has gone into shaping my career as a player and it definitely has uh, given me an opportunity to create my own identity in a sport. I am grateful to him now because I enjoy the perks of being very individual financially, emotionally, name it as a woman, I am more stronger than what I was. She's hit the gap and uh, a most welcome boundary for India and Mitali Raj. All right, let's now go across to my colleague Mohit Bhatt who joins us live. Uh, Mohit, uh, the excitement is building up. Everyone is rooting for the women in blue. There have been messages of support pouring in from across the country, from ordinary folks, from celebrities, including Virat Kohli and his men in Sri Lanka. So clearly, uh, these women are shouldering the expectations of the entire country today. 
Well, yes, this is the first time that a whole country has expectations from this women's cric uh, cricket team. They have made it to the finals of the World Cup and they will be facing England at Lords. So clearly everyone is so excited for this match. This is an unprecedented support for the women's cricket team. We saw everywhere we are going around, we see that the people are cheering for the uh, women's cricket team. And now this is the first time that the people know who it's actually plays of the women's cricket team. Earlier they did not used to uh, know the names of the player, but they know who Harman Preet Kaur is, they know, they know who uh, uh, Smriti Mandana is, they know who Mitali Raj is, they know who, uh, who uh, Julan Goswami is. So clearly uh, people are getting more educated with this win and this performance by women's cricket team in the World Cup and today is the big day. They will be playing uh, England in an all crucial final of World, uh, women's World Cup. Now, the, the, many of the former cricketers are comparing this performance to the 1983 men's World Cup uh, win. Uh, Indian men's team was the underdog and they won it and uh, it was not expected from them but they played brilliantly and they won the World Cup for the country and this time around women are doing the same. These women have been playing very good uh, in this tournament and we know we saw how in the last match there was this brilliant batting performance by Har Harman Preet Kaur and a brilliant uh, a captaincy by Mitali Raj and all round performance by everybody. So clearly people have their hopes with this team. They have their prayers with this team and also uh, this is the first time that uh, the people all over the country are having players for the women cricket team. Earlier we used to see this enthusiasm, this uh, encouragement and this, uh, uh, this overflow of emotions for the men's cricket team whenever they used to go and play the World Cup. But today we have in many places all over in Delhi and all over the country where people will be praying, people will be holding havan, pujas and from all the communities they would be coming together and they will be praying for this cricket team. So everyone is ex excited, they wa want that their team should win it and we hope that Indian women's cricket team will win World Cup this time. Well, uh, that certainly is the hope and uh, the entire country shares that hope uh, with you. Uh, Mohit, thanks very much for all those details. We'll come back to you later for more. Let's now listen into what the sports minister had to say earlier. And I understand that the women are the same as cricket, they will be the same as the name of And uh, I think they are doing very well and I uh, uh, congratulate them and uh, my best wishes are with the team. Now everybody is aware and uh, you know the whole country is watching our uh, women's uh, Indian cricket team play and today being the finals uh, I wish them all the best and I'm sure they'll come out with flying colors. In last match we beat them very badly or oh, this time we surely win definitely or women's played very well and we confident on them. Oh, all I want to say is all the best, best wishes for, my, for the Indian women's team. I'm really proud that I made it to the finals. And I would like to say all the best and do, do your best and bring the cup to our country. I just want to wish them all the best. Uh, I think it, it's time to show the women's power to the world. Uh, all the best Indian team. Rock it. The all Indians hope. Well, they both play for India. They both put their heart and soul into the game with just one motive, to win matches for India and to do India proud. But then, very often we've seen women cricketers don't get the same kind of compensation, the same resources as the men cricketers do. What uh, the Indian uh, women's cricket team has achieved in the ongoing World Cup by making it to the finals is the greatest example of their dedication and devotion to the game. And therefore, isn't it time that endorsers started focusing on brand Mithali, brand Harmanpreet, along with brand Dhoni and brand Kohli? It's important when the matches are televised to, uh, you know, showcase a very good brand of cricket because people now uh, started following women's cricket. So it's important that we uh, play the best cricket as women cricketers and. Uh, put forward to the viewers to see and watch and uh, you know continue to support women's cricket that's how we attract more people to come and watch uh, women's games all right let's go back to my colleague uh, mohit for more on the story uh, mohit uh, these women have done india very proud the manner in which they've played throughout this tournament the way they beat the aussies who were seen as a very very strong team and 
definitely one of the favorites. This has won many hearts. Now we've also seen the BCCI um, announcing uh, cash awards for these men, uh, these women, I beg your pardon, recognizing their great achievement and contribution to cricket. The question now is, will corporate India follow suit? Because people are saying that, well, if you can have brand Dhoni and brand Virat Kohli, then why not brand Mithali Raj and brand Harman Preet? Well, in fact, that is the pertinent question over here that we have uh, so much of sponsor for the men's cricket. If you talk about uh, a particular player, individual player, we have how much endorsement Virat Kohli has or uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni has, Yuvraj Singh, Virendra Sehwag. They all have the endorsement in their hand even if they have retired from the cricket. But the same is not the case with women's cricket. But now, as Vital Dhar clearly stated that uh, in an interview, that it's good that these matches are being televised and people get to know that there is something called women's cricket in our country and we need to support it. We need, to, uh, we need to encourage uh, uh, these women cricketers and we saw how BCCI awarded them with 50 lakh rupees each for, their, uh, for this performance and after uh, today's match, uh, if they win this World Cup, which uh, we are sure that they will surely win this World Cup, after that then there should be more encouragement to, to these cricketers and more uh, financiers, more corporate deals should come their way. If it, if it could be brand Virat Kohli, if it could be brand Mahindra Singh Dhoni, then it could be brand uh, Mitali, brand Julian Goswami, brand Harman Preet Kaur. So clearly you need to encourage these girls uh, and it, what it will do is it will uh, create an atmosphere for all other girls and all other parents uh, to come forward and make sure that their girls play cricket because we see how Prime Minister said Beti Bachao, Beti Padao and it now could be Beti Khilao after they, 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 if, if they get encouragement from the corporate sectors also. So we hope that uh, this time the corporate sector, more sponsors will come up for these women cricketers and they could get uh, good sponsorship deals so that it encourages the sports in the country. Back to you. All right, uh, Mohit, we certainly hope that this will serve as an encouragement for uh, uh, women sports persons around the country and this certainly is going to give a big boost to women's cricket in India and of course we're keeping our fingers crossed for that big final that's coming up today. But whichever way the finals go, these women have already won our hearts. Thanks very much, Mohit, for that. All right, let's now shift our focus to some other news. BMC negligence.